Hey everybody, it's your girl Debbie and Shaw and this is Artist Hustle TV. Today we're talking about email lists and I had a great question. I wanted to do a video based on this question that I got <clears throat> a while back, but the question was, can you give tips on creative things that you can send to your subscribers, your email subscribers, besides upcoming shows and new music? So this is a great question. Um, I thought about some things that you guys could be sending to your email subscribers. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. Um, and I will definitely get back in touch with you guys. But this is some cool ideas. I kind of actually wrote down some good ideas about things that you guys can send to your subscribers. The number one thing I would do is I would poll and survey your current subscribers. So create a short survey. You don't want it to be long. You want it to be very short and to the point, or if you want, it can be long and in depth. The point of the survey is to understand your subscribers a little better. Are they male? Are they female? Are they um, millennials? Are they baby boomers? Are they teenagers? Um, <clears throat> What other type of music do they like? What type of events do they go to? What do they like to do? What type of radio stations do they listen to? Um, what websites do they visit? Um, you just need to get some more insight on who they are and their lifestyle. So that's what I would do. I would poll and survey your audience and just say, hey, you know, I would love feedback. You know, please fill this out. Second thing you can do is story time. I love this. A lot of people are doing this on YouTube and I love it because it's so interesting. So if you have a cool story about your song or about yourself or about maybe something that's going on in the world right now, do a story time and tell your story based on what's going on and make it interesting. Obviously, you don't want it to be boring, um, but put, put a little creative spin on it and do something different. And then email it out to your subscribers. And I know they would love it. If you can do a video, that would be great. If not, you can do written form, maybe even um, audio. Whatever you want to do, do it your way. Another thing you can do is things that inspire you or things that you love. So maybe you're from your, whole your hometown. And maybe you're really big in your hometown or your local market. Do something based on things that you like around that town or something that's cool that's going on that your subscribers may want to know about you or where you're from or whatever, but things that inspire you, whether it's a quote, whether it's a person, whether it was an event in your life, just think about things that people would want to know more about you so they understand who, you're, who you are and who your brand is. Another thing to do is come mingle with me at this event. So as an artist, you guys should already be networking every single week so if you guys are going to events concerts conferences especially now it's getting warm it's march so you should be telling your subscribers if you're going to south by southwest if you're going to um austin city limits if you're going to the revolt music conference meet me there or whatever that's going on in your local town um if you're going to coachella you know, tell people like, hey, come meet me here. Let's do a meetup. Tell people, get them excited, get them outside of emails and get them excited about you and what you're doing. The other thing you can do is last minute deals or you can do free stuff. So if you partner with someone or another company or something that you know your subscribers would like, give away some free stuff, whether it's merchandising, a giveaway, a contest, or it could be last minute deals that you can only get if you're subscribed to your email list. So think about different creative ways you can get people excited to want to add themselves to your list. Another thing I love is having a fan of the month. And obviously you would have to get um, permission. So what you can do is send an email out to your subscribers and ask them, hey, if you want to be featured, if you have a business, if you're a DJ, if you're a local photographer or if you just do something great for your community and you want to be shouted out, I just want to thank you and appreciate you. I would love to do a fan of the month or a, a profile of the month, whatever you want to call it. But it's every month you do it or every other month. I don't care how you do it, but feature your fans, feature the people that subscribe to you. Because I know a lot of people, they would love that recognition and that credibility to say, hey, this person really cares about me besides me just subscribing to their stuff. And the last thing I absolutely love is 
showing behind the scenes content. And now this stuff does not have to be complex. It can be a photo. It can be a video. It can be an audio. Um, people are more visual nowadays. So I would definitely suggest you guys do videos. But if you're not comfortable with that, maybe a blog. But something behind the scenes that nobody else sees um, on your social media or on your website. Get them to want to subscribe to you. And you could either make it a weekly thing, a monthly thing every six months, whatever, but show them a little bit more about you and who you are. And they will want to continue to figure out, okay, what else is um, this person going to send to me? You want your emails to be exciting. You don't want to just send, okay, I have this new project or, oh, come to my show. But if you guys are doing interviews, I just thought about this. If you guys are doing interviews while you're promoting things and whatever, if you're at a radio station or you're visiting a college, tell your subscribers to meet you there if they're in that local area. So one thing I would do with your subscribers is I would try to figure out their location. That's really, really important. So you can segment your email list. And then when you're in that local area, you email these people. So if you're in Austin, you're in Nashville, you're in Detroit, you're in DC, you're in Birmingham, you're in Atlanta, wherever you're at, these are the type of people that you would want to get to and talk to. So make sure you guys watch this video again. What I would recommend you guys do is always add to your email list. Never just only rely on your social media and your website. But when you meet people, get them on your email list. Ask them, hey, just send me a quick text, you know, or send me a whatever and I'll add you to the list. I have a cool deal, whatever. But make sure you're gathering emails no matter where you're at and let them know what the email list is about and stuff like that. But make sure you guys watch this again. Thank you for watching. I'm feeling a lot better. I wasn't feeling good for a while. So this is good. And I will see you guys on the next video. All right. Bye.